Hey guys, Will here with Press Start TV E3 2016. We're here with Etienne, lead designer on DayXX Go. Tell us a little bit about this title, the inspiration behind this. Well, the idea is to uh, pay a really nice homage to the Deus Ex franchise in a puzzle form. Uh, if you've seen before, we made Hitman Go and Larkrow Go, which were basically that uh, distillating like the the essence of assassination for it and go in a really nice clean board game feel and the same way we did Lark Rock Go was about exploration and the ruin like going in these ruins and discovering this adventure basically but for this X since we come from a way different franchise yeah. it's all about like hacking manipulating kind of uh, being this mastermind around the scene and we try and bring that feeling into the puzzle game uh, uh, turn based gameplay. So this is just kind of like a, a pick up and play game so is there any kind of learning curve or that kind of thing? We try and not have any tutorials or anything but as you play the game it kind of teaches itself to you. So every few levels you find something new that is that it kind of shown to you and as you get more and more of these you kind of figure out how they work together as well as alone. So it's really about crafting that kind of smooth curve of discovery and also puzzle solving. Uh, walk us through a little bit of the gameplay on the game. Right, so you play as Adam Jensen, uh, you have access to different augmentations, uh, you use energy, uh, and turn by turn you uh, basically just, as you move, the enemies react, and the guards go after you, and they chase you, and if they lose you, they go back to their post, and if if you encounter a guard that's been alerted, you can kill them, they are armored, but if you get, if you take them unawares, then you can kill them, and it, create that kind of, it creates that uh, hunter-hunted kind of yeah. gameplay. Stealth. Where yeah, it's the stealth thing where uh, you don't want to be seen or sometimes you want to be seen because you want to lure them away from where they are so you can like lock them away with the hacking and all of that. So it, there's that, you kind of do everything you do in this X, but everything happens differently. Like even the hacking game is about, like when you find a hacking terminal, you can draw lines around the level manually, literally on the screen. You, d you connect different elements with the hacking, which kind of changes how the level works. So you can kind of build how the level works uh, with this mechanic and it, it's, it creates this kind of very different gameplay which evokes all of the same type of uh, brain energy that you have when you play Deus Ex. Sure, and, and then being in a mobile game, I mean, th this is a, a campaign style game, right? There's a story to it and... Yeah, well, uh, yeah. We kind of take place in even, it's kind of vague because we don't want to put all of the details there. It's still like a very, a much simpler experience, but we do actually uh, take place just before Mankind Divided and Story. And it's all about like Jensen and his uh, involvement with the, the um, Task Force 29 and the Collective and all of that. So yeah, there's that element. So if you're familiar with the universe and um, you want to get involved, you can kind of do something else that takes, like you said, takes place before it. So I, I love that. I love uh, being able to, yeah, well, th the idea was to kind of have that nod, the franchise for the fans, because they're going to recognize yeah. Jim Miller, they're going to recognize Alex Vega, all of them. But also, we didn't want to close the door to all, everybody who doesn't know this X, and uh, to have that game to be something uh, to discover, basically, for them, and to maybe bring them in, even like the, the main game. But uh, so, yeah, you, you get these nods, they're subtle, and there's going to be a story, but it's very light, it's very mobile, and it's very. Uh, Elegant, I would say. Okay. Uh, how long have you guys been working on this title? Uh, it's been close to a year. Uh, it's very short cycle. We're a small team in Montreal, uh, and we work closely even with IDOS. We kind of had some meetings over over the year to make sure it was on on brand, make sure they liked it, and they, they absolutely love it. So we're really happy about that. We're sure that if they like it so much, that the other like the rest of the fans also will like it. Yeah, well, I'm sure they will. Um, what kind of price points are you guys looking at? It's not announced yet. The game is coming out this summer on tablets and phones. Apple phones, Android, Apple. Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Well, look out for Deus Ex Go. It's looking fantastic. Uh, keep it here on Press Start TV. Thank you so much, Etienne, for joining Thanks us. Really appreciate it. Cheers.